What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Welcome back to the Voter for Champions RTG Edition. And oh, damn, it feels good saying that. I miss saying that. I feel like I've dropped like three, four other videos since we dropped the Road of Glory. I apologize for that, bros. The RTG is here. And this one's going up super late. I never upload this time. So if you like me uploading this time or you just think it's cool, I dropped a double upload on your chest. Smash a big old thumbs up, man. We finally using Ronaldinho. I got his baby, Ronaldinho. I do not got... I don't got his middle one. We bought his middle card. Now we have Pele and middle Dingo. So let me explain what's happening to you real quick. As you can see, I played Amon. So I was 21 and 1. No, I was. I think I was 20 and 20 and 1 when I played him. So as you guys know, I lost to Joey, which is a top 100 player. Then I played Amon, who's another like big time pro in the community. And I lost to him. Good game. He was amazing. Then I get matched up against Soccer plus rvp this is a viewer of this channel he's an awesome player in november december he helped me a lot man he actually told me how great kashelny was and stuff he ends up beating me 2-1 as well right so the weekend league starts to take a turn for the worse for us we start to get in a pretty damn bad position we get matched up against this guy named julio who has neymar del piero gareth bale roberto uh Vieira, a fantastic team a baller team and we end up losing again. So now we have four losses. And going into our last 10 games, we had to win our last 11. No, yeah, our last 11. Yeah, our last 11 games. We have to win all 11 to get 36 which is top 100. Now, if you watched the last episode, you know we got top 100. I told you guys. But this was the game. This game right here, bros, was mental. And I'm going to let this ride out for you because as I told you already, we got 36. We got top 100. I want to show you how clutch we had to be, how amazing this gameplay that you're watching on your screen, instead of me just chopping up a bunch of games, I want you to be able to see what I do in circumstances, what I do, how I react, how I played with Pele, how I played with Ronaldinho, and how I react with top 100 on the line. Now, at the time, I did not think 36 was going to be enough for top 100, but I was playing for top 100 monthly. Once again, man, if we could reach 8,000 likes on this video, that would be amazing, and I, you know what? I just won't mess around with the road to glory. I know you guys love this up every single day i know y'all love it so if if, if we get this eight thousand mark i won't play about no more i'll make sure you guys have your videos now um as i was saying man it's cool because i sh always showed you guys all 40 all chopped up really thing but i've never really sat here and commentated a video nah big boy sala a video where we sit here we kind of analyze and i break down what i'm doing in each certain like circumstances because i know a lot of people want to get better at the weekend league and, and, and be like skills you know you're a top 100 player can you help me i want this i want that realistically bros i'm probably not the person to ask for advice i know getting top 100 is really a big big thing um but i've been really inconsistent this year you guys know i get top 100 then i didn't get it for another week and then i got it and then i didn't get it now we've gotten top 100 i think it's like seven or eight times this year uh weeklies we got in top 100 monthly once so i kind of know what to do in circumstances but the biggest thing is this and i was talking to my my best friend net uh the other day about this and and i was actually talking to him about aman right aman beat me um, in this weekend league, in these 40 games, Un I got unlucky to play four top 100 players. That was mental. But Amon beats me. I actually think I played more. I think I think I played like five or six because I think I beat two of them. I might have. I'm not 100% sure. But um, so I play Amon, right? And Amon completely works me, bros. I mean, if you go back to that picture of when he beat me in the game, the first game of this episode, bros, I had 39% possession. I play a lot of FIFA. We're almost at 200, 2,000 wins on this account. I play a lot of FIFA, and I can tell you that there's not many people who have held the ball on me for 39% possession, outshot me, outshot me on target. And I've always known Amon is a great player. Last year, I beat Amon. Amon beat me. I beat him. We went back and forth. I think he's a great player in the NA, right? He's been performing on the pro level for years. So when I matched him, I was like, all right, this is about to be a game. But out of all the top 100 players I've played this year, he's one of the ones that has really impressed me, right? He's been really, really good. Uh, but he only gets elite three. I mean, elite one. He's getting elite one, sometimes top 100, elite one. This weekend, he got 34 wins, yet he worked me. He's a pro player, top 100, makes events. He worked me. And and where I'm going with this is the same thing I said to Nep. I'm like, Nep, dude, you're such a good player. Like, I don't get how you're not consistently getting Elite One. And it comes down to mentality. It comes down to being able to keep your composure. Bros, in this gameplay right here, 
top 100 monthly is on the line for us. I knew that with the with getting 38 wins, and I think last week we got 35 or 36, I had to get at least 36 again to keep us in top 100 monthly because there's actually two more weekend leagues in this month, so I can't afford to have a bad one. So 33 minutes in this game, I'm down 2-1. to one. My opponent is playing a great game. He's, he's holding the ball well. He's passing well. I knew I was in a, a place of, like, I could easily flip a switch and go mental. I could easily start blaming the game, start screaming. But instead, I was like, look, there's two things that can take place here. I can either start freaking out or I can do my best to win this game because nobody's going to come in and save the day. No, my ex, His Xbox is not going to turn off. These servers are not going to disconnect. He's not just going to give me a W. I got to find a way to make this happen. So I start messing around. Look, people, I got you got you got to believe me when I say this. This game is all about formations. Okay? If I'm in a 4-1-2-1-2 and my opponent's in a 4-3-1-2 and he's outperforming me, I need to switch. It doesn't mean that he's a better player than me. He just he just might be out tacticking me. His formation might counter what I'm doing. Whatever his players might counter what I'm doing. But even if I have a bronze team I go down 3-1 after making a formation change. Don't panic, skills. Stay in the game. So what I'm trying to say is, even if I have a bronze team, if I do the right formation against someone with a, a, a diff, like if I, if someone's in a 4-2-3-1, and I'm like, okay, I know 4-1-2-1-2 counters this, and I switch into 4, or, or not 4-1-2-1-2, 4-4-2 counters it, right? And I switch into it. Even if I have way worse players, even my players are absolutely terrible. If my formation feels like it counters my opponent, every time he makes a pass, I'm right there to intercept. Every time this, every time that, then I feel like I'm putting myself at, 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 at not even at a disadvantage anymore because I know that my players are going to intercept every time he passes. So when you're in these games and stuff starts going not your way, don't focus on the game. Focus on what move you can make. It's a game of chess, bro. What move can you make to put your opponent at a disadvantage? Now, the team this guy has, a fantastic team. Thierry Henry, crazy players. And I know a lot of times people will look at my players and be like, well, Skills, your team's fantastic too. It is a great team. But remember, we only have Baby Pele, Baby Dino. We only have, uh, 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 you know, Middle Maldini. We have, we do have Prime Desai. But a lot of teams we're playing against are Prime Desai, Prime Rio, Prime this guy, Prime that guy. So it's difficult. But you can't let that be your mindset. One thing that a lot of pros tell me is they don't even look at what their opponent's teams are. They don't even pay attention. And, and honestly, bro, I don't care neither. When I go into a game, I don't care what team my opponent has. All I care about is what formation he's in. Because I want to know what formation I need to go into to out to play like to play him different. And that's why this year, so much this year, you guys have said to me, Skills, what formation are you in? Skills, what are you doing with this? Skills, what's your favorite this? Skills, what's your favorite that? And realistically, bros, my favorite formation is whatever my opponent is not in. And a lot of times, not even not in, but a lot of times if my opponent, if I switch to a formation that I think I'm countering my opponent, it, but I'm not actually getting possession. I go into his formation because if we're both in the 4 2 3 1 and we both have a similar team, it now comes down to hey, who can play this game better? Who can play this formation better? Who can who can adjust to the circumstances better? Who can keep their composure better? And that's why a lot of times I'll switch into the exact formation my opponent's in. For example, my my formation to be in the, my opponent's formation to be in this game was four two three one. So I went into a four two three one because I was like, all right, let's see if he can outplay me in a four two three one. And he did. And that's when I switched to a four four two. And that's when I started making moves. His Ronaldo. The guy I didn't want to sell comes up massive. And now I, I, let's talk about Dingo for a minute, right? Because big boy Ronaldo Dingo, how good is he? Uh, Dingo was amazing, man. I told you how much I liked Pelé and how much I disliked Pelé. Pelé felt a lot like Gabriel Jesus. Dingo really didn't... There's no card in the game that I've played with that felt like Dingo. Um, I had fun with Dingo. He assisted a lot. Do I think he's worth that price tag? I think his prime would be better. The one thing about Dingo that kind of gets me is I actually bought him to play striker. Because he's a high-low, bros. So if you're playing a 4-4-2, if you have him on that right mid, that's fine because having a high-low out there. But I don't even like that because I like having a high beam that kind of helps. So if you're using Dingo in the midfield um, as, as a high-low, I just feel like strikers should be high-lows. For example, some high-lows of Cristiano Ronaldo um, is a high-low. Uh, 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 Luis Muriel is a high-low. Like, these are strikers. And Ronaldo, obviously, a winger, but everybody uses him as striker because of that. Because of the fact that, like, on the wings, you want somebody that drops back. At least me. I'm not comfortable enough defensively. I need someone to help me. So, bros, you see me losing here, and now it's time to go for Gusto, man. I sit here, and I'm like, look, now, 
I, I'm, look, I still keep, I, I'm pretty sure at this position, I still keep Dingo out on the wing. Let me see if I pull him. No, I, I, no, I pull him. I even pull Dingo. I love Dingo. He's fantastic. He's a great card. Because of his high-low, I couldn't keep a high-low player with a three-back out on the wing. I couldn't do it. Look at Lozano turning on the Jets. Almost got a goal right from coming in, but... I need, because I'm in a three back, I need Lozano and my, my right mid and my left mid to be able to drop back just a little bit at times. I end up not even pulling Dingo, I don't think. I think I put him at Cam, then I did. I put him at Cam, so I didn't pull him. Um, but I thought heavily about pulling him. I find Alexandro, and he equalizes the game. So this is the whole thing, man. I went from 4 1 2 1 2 to, to 4 2 3 1 to 4 4 to 4 4 2, now to three back. You understand? I've done all these things just to keep myself in this game with my opponent. The game's never over till it's over, bros. You got to do what you got to do to keep up with your opponent. And that's exactly what I did here, man. I did everything. I switched formations. I switched everything I possibly could to keep myself in this game. Was I out-teamed? Hell yeah, man. His Look at that. Look at that Ronaldo. That Ronaldo is unstoppable. The card is unbelievable. I'm so sad I sold mine. Salah's in the box. Salah with a fake shot. If he scores here, it could be GG's. But De Gea saves my life. And bros, with the game on the line, right there... I threw the ball out wrong. I should have lost. My opponent needed to hold the ball. He didn't do it. I slide a mean through pass into my boy Pele. Pele turning on the Jets. Pele still with it. Nice little cutback from big boy Pele. I send it into my guy Dingo! And the man I almost pulled saves the day. Pele and Ronaldo Dingo, the Brazilian connection comes up massive and saves the day for us bros and that's actually gonna send us into penal do we go to extra time or penalties against this opponent no we go to extra time man we go to extra time not penalties and i'm telling you bros like right there i threw the ball out wrong that was me losing my composure i was three back for the rest of this game i literally played from the 60th minute until the end of the game three back and then i decided you know what i gotta switch into a 4-1-2-1-2 um and, and and just stick to my guns this is the formation i'm most comfortable with this year my opponents already showed he's a great opponent i've tried to out counter him with other formations it hasn't worked to my favor i haven't been able to take the lead i'm going back to what i know and i'm gonna just play it out and if i lose i gave it my best and that's kind of the mentality i had so that's what i'm trying to get at with you guys is never feel like because you keep shooting you hitting the post or the ball won't go in or this this and that or that that and this remember that like, it all comes down to you. I, just sitting there blaming the game and screaming, oh, EA this, EA that. It's not helping the situation for you. It's actually making it much more difficult. The moment you get triggered, it's over, yo. The moment you get triggered, it's over. And there's times, trust me, man, I get so triggered at this game. But what I do is I either take a break after the game I just got triggered or I leave. My biggest thing, bros, this weekend is everyone I lost to is pretty much a top 100 player. So for me, when I lose to somebody like that, that's it. When Amon beat me, bro, I literally sat in this chair and I said, what could I have done better? All right, I probably could have played a different formation, but there wasn't really much. He was better than me. And that's it. And, and that's how I look at it. When I lose to someone who's parking the bus and he's like a, you know, like a, a gold three player and they're parking the bus and they're doing everything to play anti-football, that's annoying. That can be triggering. But when I lose to a top 100 player, when I lose to somebody that I just see is better than me, there's no point in getting triggered because realistically, man, yeah, if I would have got this bounce or yeah, if he would have got a red card on this or yeah, if this would have happened or yeah, if the ref would have called the pen, I could have got him. But at the end of the day, was I actually better than him? And, and for my opponents this weekend, uh, you know, from Joey um, to this guy Tommy right here that I'm playing to, 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 to Aman, am I better than them? No. Are they better than me? Probably. They beat me this weekend, so they were better than me this weekend. If we play again, can I beat them? Who knows? You know what I mean? When, you play, when you're a top 100 player and you play a top 100 player, it's 50-50. When you're a gold one player and you play a gold one player, it's 50-50. It can go either way. So never get yourself too triggered, bros. If you lose to someone that's good, just kind of just, like, I know it's hard to put your ego aside and be like, you know what? He, he outplayed me. But it's kind of the same thing as, like, right now, the big hype in Fortnite, right? Everybody loves Fortnite. In Fortnite, it's real easy um, you know, to miss a shot and someone kills you and you'll be like, damn, you know, like for the moment you get mad for two seconds, you're like, damn, how could I miss that? Blah, 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 blah. And then right after that, it's right back into another game. And that's how FIFA should be. You miss, you miss your chance and you just forget about it and move on. I know it's hard to do that because you only have 40 games and in 40 games, you can only make so many mistakes. But look how many mistakes I made this game, bro. And I just, I kept fighting through it and fighting through it and fighting through it. And I knew I had to win this to keep us in top 100 monthly. And with everything, our backs against the wall, we continue to fight. I mean, dude, being down by two goals against Dingo and, 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 and Ronaldo, I mean, it's hard, man. It's hard, but I kept fighting and big Lozano and Sonaldo coming up big right here. 160, 100, 106th minute. 
I thought I was going to win a corner. I tried to win a corner there because I had no pass in, but I was unable. My opponent was rocking Ter Stegen, man. And Ter Stegen is such a sick card. Uh, to play. Every time I play against Ter Stegen, I absolutely can't stand playing against Ter Stegen because he makes some absolute great changes. But those are my biggest tips I can give you guys this year, man. Keep your composure. Uh, patience is key with FIFA. Make sure that you out formation your opponent. If a formation is not working, but you really love that formation, hey, you love it. But that's why it's so important to go into divisions and play with different formations. 4 1 2 1 2, 4 3 1 2, 4 4 2. Know everything. How many times have you guys seen me play 4 4 2 on this channel? Not often. But I went into it because I've heard stuff that it counters this, it counters that, it counters this formation. I've heard stuff. So I'm like, all right, if, 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 if I heard it and someone's told me, it probably does. Let me try it. And I give stuff a go, man, because I don't want to just. You know, it's that, it's that whole saying, if you if you keep doing something, if you if you keep walking through a door and every time you walk through a door, you hit your head, you know, after you do it six, seven times, eventually you got you to gotta learn to duck. You know what I'm saying? So if I go into a game and I keep using my same formation, but every time I play against a 4-2-3-1, I lose and, and, and I never make a change, eventually you got to make a change. Eventually you got to do something. Eventually you got to duck, man, so you don't hit your head. And that's the whole thing with me, man. I just, I sit here and I look at it and, and you know, I, I was I could have stayed in four one two and two the whole game, but I don't feel that I would have beat him in four one two and two. Now when we get to extra time here, honestly, bros, at this point, one hundred seventeenth minute, I, I just knew that his team had way more stamina than mine. His team was in a better position than mine. Not sent, not because he had, like he has he had better subs than me. He had prime icons, which most of them have better stamina than the ones I have. In this right there, oh, that was scary, yo. I'm so happy that hey, I grabbed that out the sky because when Ronaldo gets in a position like that, it's usually GGs. You saw me hold the ball there for a second, bros, because honestly, I wasn't playing for penalties. You could see me try to go for the dub here. It's just my team can't take their legs no more. Pele can't even outrun Rio anymore. My team is completely dead. So a counterattack, and I knew it was all over right here. You, you see me try to take him out. I missed Maldini covering Ronaldo. He has Mani. He tries to put him in, but I, I jumped to Willian. And this right here, bro, imagine if I lose off the ball bouncing back to him. That would be absolute cheese Desai covering Ronaldo and finally I step in with Lozano and we go to penalties but I could have lost right there off the ball bouncing back to him we go to penalties Ter Stegen up against Goretzka for the first penalty Goretzka goes directly down the middle it's tough with penalties man because a lot of the people I play watch my videos so you guys know which ways I like to go um I don't know how De Gea saved that, but he saved it with his booty and it hit the post and didn't go in. You guys know which way I like to go, um, which is is very, very, very difficult because I'm always not only am I in like my mind when I'm when I'm doing the pens, but I'm also thinking to myself, do they watch me? Because if they watch me, they know I like to go this way, and if I go this way, they, and I'm in my own head because I never know if you guys watch or you don't watch. And I know if you do watch, you probably know which way I'm gonna go. Um, so it's a crazy one. His Mane steps up against my De Gea, big boy Mane. If anybody wants to know what jerseys I went the right. Way he jumped over. That's cheese. Um, if anybody wants to know what kit I'm wearing, I'm wearing a Portuguese kit. It's Boa uh, Vista. Boa Vista. I can't even speak. In the Portuguese league, uh, Liga Nos. Um, so yeah, in, in real life, they use white shorts or they use white shorts. I like the one that use the white shorts. Right there, it goes to four, th four, three for my opponent. And all we gotta do, man, is just make sure we finish off our pens. Just score them all when I miss with Vieira. Absolute terrible, yo. I missed with Vieira right there. He steps up with his Ronaldo. He has to score. And his most expensive player misses. And we win. Ladies and gentlemen, that's 36 wins. If there's, if you like this style of me showing you a full game from the weekend league and telling you what I did and what I didn't do, smash a big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoy, man. That is my weekend league. And tonight, in a little bit, tomorrow, y'all gonna watch the rewards. Top 100. Let's get it. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching, man. I love you guys. I truly appreciate you guys. Uh, we ended 96th in the world, I think it was, for this weekend with 36 wins. So... Shout out to all the pros that didn't play this weekend. I appreciate y'all. But again, man, I love your faces. Thank you so much for watching. Big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. And just let me know if you like this style, man. Because I'll show you the 40 games still. But this is kind of cool because I can analyze a gameplay with you. So thank you so much for watching. I love y'all. Booyah.